Hello everyone, this is Vivek Kumar from Sodo Analytics and I welcome you to another episode of Weekend Fun Series. This weekend, I have something amazing for you. Better than explaining, just see it in live action. So, I have a Spotify dashboard where I need to simply write a query. Let's say I am trying to, uh, to list down 5 most profitable categories. I submit the query. It analyzes the data set. It has roughly 10k records and it gives me the list of top 5 most profitable subcategories as copiers, phones, accessories, papers and binders. Another one is, let's say, list 5 subcategories making loss and uh, just we have to see there are five subcategories they are that are making loss binders with 613 losses Chairs with 235 losses, tables with 203 losses, furnishing with 167 losses, and storage with 161 losses. Then that amazing we simply write a query in a natural language and Spotfire gives us the response in plain text after analyzing the data set. And what's more impressive that is the code consists of only 14 rows or less actually. Have a look. This is our whole code and if we reduce the spaces from here and ignore the comments, it is less than 10 rows of code. How exactly it is working? It's very simple to understand that. I am Switching to the main idea and the brain behind this particular code. This is basically using a Python library called Pandas AI, which interacts with OpenAI ChatGPT with the help of the data frames available. So basically, it is designed to receive Pandas data frame as an input and pass that data set to ChatGPT for analyzing and then ChatGPT sends its response via a natural language response here. So how exactly things are working here? We need to specify a API token and apart from our ChatGPT system, it can also interact with Hugging Face uh, chat as well. But uh, in this implementation, I have taken the ChatGPT uh, itself. What we need simply to acquire a ChatGPT key, which is basically uh, API token, and integrate it with our code. Code looks very simple, means if I have to go even row by row, it is like this. We need to pass in our uh, secret key, that's our API key from ChatGPT OpenAI system as input parameter. Other input parameters what we need to, pa uh, to uh, pass in is the data frame what we have to analyze basically as an input parameter and a prompt which what query we are sending and as a response it gives us a simple uh, string that contains uh, the analysis results by chat GBT. So design is very simple we are simply using these two uh, rows to ignore the warnings whatever we receive and then we are using pandas ai along with regular uh, pandas import after that we need to initialize the llm by passing the api token basically a sim as simple as open ai secret key what we have acquired and then we have to instantiate Pandas AI using that uh, LLM and we are just passing in the prompt along with the data set. 
and we have already seen the results how exa- uh, exactly it is working and it is very impressive to just uh, pass in the queries and get the responses in our own natural syntax and uh, first of all like we have lot of use cases like we simply have a data and end users we which may not be that much uh, technically versed with uh, uh, the data set and uh, they they do not want to see a lot of uh, charts and uh, tables and uh, summarized data they simply ask their questions and get their response against the data set they are having and this is simply beautiful so that was all for today hope to see you in the next episode and uh, thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my content and channel thank you have a nice weekend ahead